They're everywhere. You've seen them countless times, but have you ever really noticed the NPCs that run item shops in your favorite RPGs? What's life like for one of them, living in a world on the brink of destruction, yet clinging to the tenets of capitalism with an iron, but invisible fist? How are they supplied? Do they have to deal with market fluctuations? It's time for... The cutest economics lesson you've ever played. From indie developer Easy Game Station, by way of even more indie localization team Carpe Fulger, this is Reseteer and Item Shop's Tale. Play it, or wind up living in a box. There's a good reason as to why this little girl owns and operates an item shop. Specifically, her adventurer dad borrowed a hell of a lot of money before he croaked, and she's paying back the loan so she doesn't lose the house. The amount of the loan isn't disclosed initially, as apparently it'd be enough to make the poor waif faint, but she's got one month to pay it back in ever-increasing installments. She's got to know how to buy low, sell high, know her customers, even the little kids who have no money, deal with the deranged heiress of the big box chain down the way, who can't seem to identify stupidly high markup when shown it, fuse new weapons and armor at the merchant's guild, take advantage of market trends, and occasionally restock via less traditional methods. Viz, contracting convenient adventurers to risk life and limb in dungeons in search of interesting shiny bits to sell. And here's where the more traditional RPG-ish section comes in. Upon choosing an adventurer, and optionally outfitting them from the store's stock, you guide them through a series of mystery dungeon-like randomly generated floors, though the battle system is in real time and feels more like Secret of Mana. You beat up monsters, get experience points, collect whatever valuable things you might happen to find, and then engage in a frank adult death struggle with a giant crowbar-wielding mouse. Not only are these adventurers your allies, read pawns in the dungeon segments, but they're also customers who might come to you for outfitting or supplies. Sell them better equipment and they'll equip it themselves, thus cutting down on what you have to lend them each time you adventure forth. Granted, since they're adventurers, they're usually living in penury, so you might have to take a massive eat on the value of the equipment just so they can afford it. Survive a month of tears, relentless loan sharking, and you'll have paid back the balance of your debt, though you can continue playing just for the challenge if you're so inclined. And if you're so inclined, the game itself is available through Gamersgate, Steam, or Impulse. Adam Smith would be so proud. 